Well today we bought, well yesterday, we bought some new filters. Filters for the camera. We're gonna crack open the box. It just arrived. Um, I've opened, well I've opened, I've opened the box part. So a bunch of stuff in there. My guess is box one, box two, box two doesn't look as in good a shape. And well, these are by the company, I always say newer, but I don't know if it's n newer. I don't know, I, whatever. Let's open these up. All right, so here's both the newer boxes. I got two different filter kits that came in. I'm pretty sure that this one is for the 49 millimeter. This one is for the 58. Let's start with the 58 first, okay? And then we will do this one right after. So inside the 58, I'm gonna turn it this way and start putting everything out here. In the box, we get soft hood. Bonus of this is that it can be pulled back and pushed forward, so if you think you may have problems with catching some of the hood for vignetting, this can help. I think though that because I'm going with such a wide lens, uh, 18 and a 15, I'm gonna catch the hood no matter what. I probably won't use these, but they're there if I ever need these for a more of a standard or telephoto lens. There's one. You get another plastic lens hood. So this one again, depending on how wide, can be useful because these are a little shorter. But again, I think I may have some issues with these. All right, what else do you get? Microfiber cloth, cleaning cloth, always important when you're dealing with filters. We get a bunch of little pamphlet -y things. So these are a little welcome to newer, get extended warranties. This is filter and accessories, so kind of tells you what the filters are and how you use them. I'm gonna have a video a little later on about how you use these different filters, so make sure you watch for that. You also get a little strap to attach to your uh, lens cap and attach that to your camera if you so choose, so that's cool. And then of course, last but not least, I'm just gonna move this box over. You get, for this kit that I got, so this again was the 58 millimeter, this one came with six, 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 six filters. So this one came with, let's open them up. So you have, I think this is the NDs. So let's see, yeah. So these are three NDs, so we have an ND4, an ND8, and an ND16. So depending on how bright and how slow you want that shutter to go. Okay, so in this one here, we have, we have number one. This is the circular polarizer, so circle polarizer. We have the UV filter, and we have the fluorescent filter. Check out for the next video, we'll show you what each of these filters is for, when you use them, why you use them, and maybe when you don't use them. All right, so box number one, box number two. This one is a smaller kit in regards to filters, but a bigger kit from what actually comes to it. So again, we're gonna pull this down here. And number one, for those that don't have it, these are kind of nice, this is a little blower. Blow all the dust off your lenses and filters and stuff. We get another one of these little pedal lens hoods. We get another one of these rubber hoods, which is kind of nice. Again, because I'm putting this on an M50 with a 15, I'm having a feeling that neither one of these may be useful, but we'll find out. You get lens cap, you get second lens cap, you get more cleaning cloth, you get a cleaning brush. There is your little strap if you so want it. You get a little spray bottle to put some cleaning fluid in it. it. does not come with the cleaning fluid, but it has a bottle just in case you want to take some with you. And this, these are kind of cool actually, if you've never used these. These are little tiny diffusers. So these little diffusers, you have a yellow, blue, and a white, will go on top of, so this will actually mount into your cold shoe on your camera where your pop-up flash comes out. So what happens is when the pop-up flash opens, it comes in here and it shoots out through here. This would be placed on it so that your flash is actually flashing through this. This will both diffuse the light as well as change the color. So of course this is gonna warm it up, this is gonna cool it down, and this is gonna be just a plain diffuser. But you can get a nice bounce so the light of a flash isn't as hard and it can actually soften the light a fair bit. A nice little addition in there if you are someone who uses the flashes a lot. Last but not least, the most important part, inside here. This one is only a single filter kit because uh, I have a different ND filter coming for my 49 millimeter. 
This one, of course, has my circle polarizer, UV filter, and again, the fluorescent. No ND filters in this one. So I do have, in another package, hopefully coming right away, a variable ND filter. So one filter to rule them all. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, so we ended up with two different kits, whole bunch of craziness, 49 millimeter, 58 millimeter. They are for two different cameras. Why did I not get the ND filters? Again, I have a variable ND filter coming in right away. And I'm gonna go take these lenses out in a different video and we're gonna show you why each one of them can be important and what they're for. So look for that in a video coming up hopefully in a couple of days or a week or so. It's the next one I'm going to try to make for you guys. Let's take one of these, throw on the good old polarizer. Fits like a charm. There we are, circular polarizer, very nice. All right guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Everything seems to fit. Again, in a future video, hopefully right away, we are going to go through all of these little filters. So UV, fluorescent, polarizer, NDs, and the variable ND, and why you guys should have them. All right, we'll talk to you then. Until then, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we will see you again right away.